Federer. That's all it is. It's true. It's, you, you can know, only, you coming, can only talk. Life, as you like, you said it before, life comes at you pretty fast. <laughs> it does. It does. <laughs> so speaking of deep root, Nick had a little project he put together. Yeah. Well, let me put a disclaimer, Vic. You know, if you just, you just kind of a newer viewer, listener, and uh, you're like, guys, why do you keep on fucking talking about deep root? Getting on them and make jokes. So you get a bunch of assholes, aren't you? Here's the deal. Uh, deep root came out three or four years ago pretending like they they had all the answers right they're like uh moses coming down from the mountain with the ten commandments they got it all figured out right like all the other manufacturers are stupid and they suck and they're gonna make the best pinball games ever they're gonna release 12 a year like all this bullshit and if they weren't so cocky and spewed and shit on all the other manufacturers then we wouldn't have this attitude but this is what's going on and i've been in on a game before that I almost lost a lot of money on. This was not with Raza. It was on uh, Lebowski. So this is a more, you know, learning segment that we will beat the drum every time to be very careful. And, you know, Deep Root is not going to be the last company that tries to start up and create pinball. So the lesson here is pinball is hard. Pinball is not easy. Uh, don't come out cocky. Get some base hits. Don't be a dick. Do what Haggis is doing. Haggis' base hits, they're, they're, they're being smart, right? Right. So we're going to hammer on that lesson because we're trying to help people out, both somebody who might want to start a company, but mostly the consumers thinking about being tempted to purchase a game that doesn't exist or believing bullshit rhetoric. So that's my uh, that's my kind of preamble. That's my my disclaimer, my warning. Uh, off to having some fun. So this my idea was to highlight this. This is not my idea. Um, that's true. This is highlighting our... our very talented viewers, followers. Uh, I, I think one thing that keeps this really going is the fact that we have an awesome community. Like we have a, a really, we, we're really lucky that I, I we're, I think we entertain people and inform them, but it, it comes back to us too in the way that our uh, viewers, fans, followers uh, um, engage with us. So, so thank you because they created, I don't know how this even got started, but at some point a month ago, there started appearing haikus about deep root in our discord so if you're not in discord go join that and interact with, with everybody but um i i'm just wanted I, just, I said to kevin let's bring this to light and share this on the podcast so maybe this is it's not gonna be like a regular episode but maybe i'll have a part two of the deep root haikus and i said maybe on deep root we finally have the funeral for that company we can honor them with some sarah mclaughlin soundtrack and read some haikus kind of deal so we're gonna kick this off um let me let me switch over here so what is a haiku? Uh, let me just read the brief definition so you understand the parameters that we're operating with. Uh, it's a Japanese poem of 17 syllables, three lines of five, seven, and five, traditionally evoking images of the natural world. Well, there's nothing natural about pinball, so we're going to forego that the tradition. But this is going to follow the haiku format in terms of the, the, five, uh, the three lines of uh, five, seven, and five syllables. Now, I didn't go over it like a nerd with a fine-tooth comb to see if He's violated that. So if somebody wants to write to us, at, uh, uh, um, talkpinball at gmail.com, let us know. You can. I'm just. I'm not going to give a shit, but you can. It's The option's yours. All right. So the way we're going to do this is I'll, I'll read I'll read the person who wrote this and the one that Kevin will, will alternate. Sometimes people have multiple <laughs> ones in the row. I just pulled it by the way it was listed uh, yesterday in Discord. There were some really good ones from a month ago but I didn't want to necessarily read them without permission. So again, maybe we'll highlight. I pulled a couple of them, but I'm just going by what was out yesterday. Okay, so this is from Wildcat. He's going to have a number of these. He'll pop up again. Uh, so Wildcat says, coronavirus, U.S. Canal blocked by boat, bullshit excuses. Nice, nice. All right, so this, is, this next one's from Good Authority, a.k.a. Slappy. Uh, his goes, pointy lockdown bar? We can manufacture it. Oops, turns out we can't. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do I read his second one? Or you, you read, read the this second one? one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is his, uh, his second one. Update is coming. Oh boy, here comes the update. There is no update. <laughs> Again, these are all accurate, entertaining, and a warning to everybody. Okay. Do a bad. Pinball is easy. New company with two games. Haggis, not deep root. Oh. 
Oh, shit. <laughs> That's a good one. Shit. That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see Haggis sponsoring tournaments four years ago. Every home needs a pinball. Uh, some games. Every yeah. pinball needs a home, right? Uh, <laughs> good authority. Maybe next quarter. If by next quarter you mean not in this lifetime. Oh, shit. Brought in at Guns N' Roses, a machine that's actually manufactured and selling quite well. <laughs> also, you know, uh, I remember Deep Root was shitting on JJP. Uh-huh. You know, threw a bunch of shade at JJP and Stern, and yet they, they're cranking out machines left and right. They probably put out, between the two companies, 20 games since Deep Root went to. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 20 titles. So, yeah. All right. Wildcat again. He's, he's kind of crushing it. You'll see a lot of Wildcat. Uh, he, you could just see this kind of inspiration that he had because there's a number of them I'm going to read. Magic Girl warned us. J-pop is a total hack. Bob, not much better. Mm-hmm. All, all joking aside, if we have learned anything, it's oct- octo bullshit. <laughs> What's the octo? There's some reference to octo. Remember his octo manufacturing? Oh, so just give a little background quickly for everybody because I kind of missed that. <laughs> joke. So I don't remember the ex- exactly how it went, but uh, I think it was on This Week in Pinball. They had done an interview with Robert. And they asked him about, you know, do you have a manufacturing facility built? Uh, and, you know, <laughs> it, it was, you know, hyperbole to the max, where it was like, you don't need, at first it was quad manufacturing. And then yeah. he's like, we don't, we don't need, we've, we've stuffed it up and now we have octo manufacturing and no context of like what that is or what that sure. entails. Sure. This is, this is, this is how you know somebody's bullshitting in, in life in general, right? When they're just saying this kind of ridiculous shit and they, they have nothing to all right, so that's good. All right, continue with Wildcat. Um, but on the bright side, we don't have to sit through the Pinball Twins again. <laughs> What's the Pinball Twins? I'm missing some of these good jokes. <laughs> pinball Twins were at the uh, the Stern Circuit Finals. It was uh, the guy from Impractical Jokers and the one guy from uh, Kevin Smith's World. Oh, okay. they were just I'm glad I didn't have to deal with that. All right, and then the last one. I yeah, mean, there's more. I think there's more Wildcat, but the last one in his segment. All things considered, the bar is now much lower below Thunderbirds. <laughs> oh, shit. That's oh, pretty bad. Oh, shit. <laughs> it is pretty bad. It is pretty bad. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this is Rod. I hope Rod's here. I love Rod. Rod uh, what's Rod. his toast says? They trapped Doc Ock and forced him to work on our manufacturing <laughs> floor. <laughs> <laughs> This is when they have the octopuses come in and start putting your pinball machine together. <laughs> uh, so, Rod, fire and brimstone. Is there a pinball in heaven? No, because God ain't real. <laughs> mm-hmm. Please read my haikus as I'm the sixth buffalo. I love wonk and donks. You know what wonk and donks is? I don't know. Why. You, you got to explain it's, a lot. It's another this, buffalo this meme. You're not, you're not in on the <laughs> memes. We we even have. No, an, I'm not a huge a, meme guy, though, to be honest. Hang on, I'll put it in put it in the chat. There you go. Wonk the donk. That's okay. uh, that's what you call it when you play uh, Willy Wonka pinball. It means you're Wonk okay. the donk. Okay. All right. Poor NS pinball just wanted sexy oompa death by toothpick. That's <laughs> more, lost. I think that's like some inside baseball <laughs> stuff that more, I'm missing. More, more Buffalo stuff. Yeah. Buffalo Discord right. for all your good uh, entertainment. That's purposes. that's for the hardcore. Yeah. All right. Attack says, hinges raise your glass. Toasting the pinball machines that will never be. Cheers. <laughs> I'm raising my glass. <laughs> Herney, that's Skip Natty. Hinges, raise your glass. Toasting right, no, the pinball. Oh, that, no, oh, no. Uh, Herney says, uh, they said he's cuckoo, but now he just go QQ. Robert, he's so sad. <laughs> What's QQ? That's <laughs> crying. Oh, oh, okay. That's good. I like that. All right. Attack again. Updates did desist. Innovations have been ceased. Douche is eternal. <laughs> <laughs> I, like how, I like how he just hit, like, this comes out the end. You're like, okay, where's this going? And then boom. It's just like, <laughs> that's poetry. <laughs> Nailed it. All right. Do you think right now we're the most hated podcast? But I mean, like, everybody shits on Deep Room, I'm guessing. I don't listen to Pinball Podcast, but I'm guessing this is nothing new. Do you think we've, we, we're, like, number one? We got to be, right? <laughs> we got to. We're trying to be number one in that. Like, there needs to be a word category for uh, the biggest shitters of Deep Room, the podcast. I and mean, we fucking get that. And there's no justice in the world if you don't. All right, this is uh, also attack. Uh, dozens of titles ready at launch, said Robert, forever alone. <laughs> I like this one from Herney. Uh, Skip, he says, if pinball I seek, to Texas I must retreat, buying a P3. <laughs> there's, there's, there's one manufacturer in Texas that's building machines. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yep. All right, good authority. Raz up for grabs. 
No, not the pinball machine. The civil lawsuit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Another one from Wildcat. <laughs> making great content way easier for podcasts than making pinball. It's true. If there's one th- thing that uh, that uh, deeper is being for, it's content. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. it is we we this probably there's hours of content that they generated for us. So so thank, thank you. you guys. They really got thank us through you. this uh, the lull of the pandemic. Thank you for the <laughs> millions of dollars you sunk in. So that we can just talk nonsense and make like two bucks. But thank you. That's great. <laughs> thank you. I'll take it. Some, money's got to go somewhere, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Good authority. Deep root refund check. Sorry we lied to you all. Just kidding. Get wrecked. <laughs> Haiku uh, from Wildcat. Haiku's on Discord giving us more enjoyment than Deep root Games can. And the truth is, man, mm-hmm. Wildcat, Wildcat just speaks the truth. Yeah. And good authority. Never forget that Deep Root's first logo was a ball gag in the butt cheeks. <laughs> True. It was. Another one from it. Hashtag innovate. Hashtag pinball is easy. Hashtag business fraud. All right. And then we got a couple of our own to wrap it up here. We get, yeah, we're wrapping up of our own. There we go. Kevin, take All yours right, away. So here's mine. Coronavirus didn't stop other makers. Killed Deep Root pinball. Convenient excuse. Mm-hmm, that's mm-hmm. the thing though, that's going to get them. They're already big. Oh, we would have we would have brought to the world the best pinball machines ever. But you know this this uh, you know one in a hundred year event. Is, that's that's the reason. It's not uh, uh, poor planning. And correct. Bullshit. Correct. Yeah. So that's that's probably the best thing that's happened to them. <laughs> all right. Here's mine. I'm going to own all Deep Root games produced, which amounts to none. And ladies and gentlemen, and that's scene. your Deep Root haiku reading for the month. Uh, stay yeah. stay with us for the next update. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks right. everybody in Discord. Uh, it was a good time. And, yeah, you guys uh, crushed it. Some levity for all of our our uh, our days when we're tr- supposed to be working, but instead we're doing haikus. So there you go. Mm-hmm. That brings us to our update. So uh, 